what is going on ladies and gentlemen i hope you're well and sure enough if you watched yesterday's video if you watched last week's video you know that this is the pullback that we were expecting okay before we dive into the analysis don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up on this video and most importantly do not forget to hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when i upload these videos i can't stress it enough we've been tracking this the the spy the Qs, smh iwm the dow very accurately okay and now what i am going to discuss here today is the possible targets of a retracement on the b wave okay because now i do believe that there is a case to be made we are now in the on our journey down towards the fourth wave okay that is going to correct this entire price structure from october 13th low towards excuse me october, november the 5th so this whole impulsive structure of this whole rally is now being corrected with a wave four pullback okay and the abc correction and a three wave pullback okay now down towards the 23 to the 38.2 now what we got to do as as traders and and elliotticians we have to try to map out where the potential targets for a wave three pullback can be so that we may just may may take advantage for a potential wave c short position okay to take us down towards the 460 455 all right spy closed down almost shy of one percent pretty sizable move down okay the q's uh negative 1.47 smh dumped iwm negative 1.58 the dow 0.61 now most of this move was attributed to a couple of factors but the two main ones that come to mind where early in the morning we got the cpi data inflation data and then in the afternoon we got that bond action all right if you guys track those very much or closely you guys know what i'm talking about so what can we expect coming into tomorrow the rest of the week what are we going to look for the following week now i am still waiting on the sidelines for any potential move to the upside for the spot i'm not too sure i am not too confident that i will take a, a short position for now i am going to sit on my hands because if you guys know when we see corrective moves like this this is a good opportunity for a chart reset this isn't in an all-out dump <clears throat> excuse me in the markets it's pretty bullish right now it's coming into the end of the year so if we want to take a look and try to get a good position here we will sh we should wait towards those fit levels to then position ourselves for the end of the year rally all right so that is our game plan very excited as you guys should be too all right again if you guys want this LEA wave analysis for the spy for the Qs, for the smh iwm or any chart that you guys want hop on over to trending ways the link to the discord group is pinned down in the comment sections do not miss it because we are going to be trading really heavily towards this end of the year and trying to wrap up 2021 with a bang guys all right really excited so 467 to the 466 dollar region is our wave pullback from this wave a i mean we may continue lower okay we may test the zone here but ultimately we are going to see a retracement towards this area okay at the 618 to the 50 percent which is a common zone for a wave b pullback why do i say that we may see this because if we take a look at our rsi our rsi is gearing up ever so slightly or is switching gears a little bit up to you know uptaking to the to the upside over here now we did not break the low from october the 13th um when we started this rally so, i mean actually sorry we did break that low uh, but we haven't broken the low from October or September the 20th, okay? So we may see a pullback over here on the RSI while the S&P is also making its way up to the 618. And then we roll over further down. So that's why I think, and I'm under the impression, there's a case to be made that a pullback is imminent here, okay, towards this zone, 467 to the 466. After we get this pullback is when I may see to probably price in an options play and the put side towards the two the the 23.6 to 38.2 maybe taking us towards this all-time high support triple q's if you guys watched yesterday's video all right we were looking for this i mean this whole i mean on all the videos right come on guys you gotta you gotta understand this right we are mapping out the indices you know ever so slightly correctly if i will right if you will rather so from october 13th one two three to the two six one eight pretty accurate stop over here uh seven eight six on the slower on the lower time frame if i go down here you'll see all right but the one hour time frame i have a little bit more cleaner so down in a b towards the six one eight to the 50 percent retracement supports 395 to 394 respectively 
Again, I may look for a short position to take us down on the wave C. Wave C may go just slower depending on how deep we get this pullback on the wave C. Sorry, on the wave B, all right? Until then, excuse me, I am sitting on my hands, no positions for me, just holding what I have currently, and then just waiting to see what opportunities I have to enter into a small short position or just wait towards bottom support to take us higher towards the end of the year, okay? SMH, also SMH, guys, 1618 resistance, Okay, 306.95, looking at a wave A pullback, wave B, down and C towards the zone, the 291 to 282, as you can see here. I don't think this is all she wrote on this wave 2 of the minor degree. Okay, I think that we need to see a sizable pullback of the higher degree. Remember, these are fractals, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the smaller degree, A, B, C pullback of this higher degree. So this pullback has to be larger than these two pullbacks. IWM, IWM also pulling back ever so slightly. Okay, we are dipping below the 38.2% retracement. So I do believe that we are looking for further downside on small caps, guys. But we may see a retest like I've been calling out before of this multi-month consolidation, all-time, not all-time highs, but all the, you know what I'm saying. This, this, this consolidation here, the multi-month corrective move sideways, nowhere to go, high of 234.68. So we may retest it. Okay, and then we go. All right, guys. So that is it for me tonight. I hope it's clear. I have some good news for you. So starting next week, I will start covering all the S&P sectors. I will have two separate videos, maybe separate them or maybe together. I don't like having too long of a video. I like to get straight to the point. So the S&P sectors that I'll cover are going to be, let me take a look here. Let me just bring this over to you guys. So the XOU, oops, XOU, XLP, XLV, XLF, XOY, maybe the real estate. I'm not too sure about this one yet. XLI, XLB, XLC, XLT, XTN, tech, energy. We already covered SMH. All right, guys. So be excited for that. Look up, be on the lookout for that. We will have those charts and that'll be a quick video update. So I'm just going to run through the wave counts. Okay. Otherwise, if you want deep analysis and commentary on this, uh, on, on particular wave counts, again, hop over trending ways. Link to the Discord group pinned down in the comment section. Peace out.